The good news is that Canada was 9 for 9 in the penalty kill. The bad news is Canada was shorthanded nine times and was in trouble at times in the game. They were in trouble, but then it comes down to Jonathan Bernier and stellar goaltending for Team Canada. I mean, he was absolutely awesome, Gordon. When you think about what Jonathan Bernier did, great rebound control, especially in the first period when Canada had all kinds of penalty troubles. He was spectacular in certain saves, and what I liked about him, he gave his team a chance to get their feet underneath them. Luke Shen, Thomas Hickey, they were spectacular on defense. And let's talk about the skill of the kids. Steven Stamkos going in as advertised, three assists. John Tavares never played a five-on-five -five shift, but he had two goals on the power play. This was a real good story for Canada. They have a chance to build off this, and I think it's a real positive thing going forward. And the record is set. Canada has now won 19 consecutive games of the World Junior Hockey Championship and will go to make it 20 with a quick turnaround against the Slovaks here in Partovica on Thursday. For Pierre Maguire, I'm Gord Miller. Send it back. As promised, Spengler Cup action from Switzerland. Curtis Joseph in net as Team Canada takes on Partovice of uh, the Czech Republic. Ironically, Partovice also the host city for the World Junior Championship. Put two and two together there. Late second tied to two Canadian power play. JP VJ plays in Switzerland now. Scores 3 2 Team Canada. Mid third. Partovice with a two man advantage. Michael Tverdik fires one into the open net to tie it at three. And this game would need a shootout. In said shootout, Serge Aubin, former Penguins pick, with a chance to win it for Canada. Roots hit Canada, wins their opener 4 3.